uh, King of the Monsters is now in theaters, and this is the sequel to the 2014 film known as Godzilla. So it's been five years since we've seen Godzilla, um, at least for me personally. I did see Godzilla in theaters. I thought it was fine, but I will say this, a little caveat. I'm not a big Godzilla fan. Um, I've seen a total of two Godzilla films now, so if you are expecting a review from a hardcore Godzilla fan... This is not the review to watch. Um, I am just a casual goer in terms of Godzilla fan base. Um, I've seen, again, two of their films now, and um, yeah, let's get into it. So this, again, takes place five years after the events of the first Godzilla film. You have a couple that um, are no longer together. They have a daughter, uh, the lady from Stranger Things. And essentially, there is a plot involving all these different uh, beings, these creatures, in which there's an organization that is trying to protect them. But at the same time, there's another group that wants to use those creatures for weapons, and then chaos ensues. And uh, you're not really going for this for a story, so I don't know why I'm really explaining all that. Um, if you were going into this movie expecting a lot of creature action, you will get it. If you are expecting um, anything else, you're going to be disappointed. Um, here's the thing. The sound design is great. This is definitely a film you see in IMAX. The sound design is incredible. The score by Bayer McCreary is really good. Um, I think he did a good job with it. I liked the design of the creatures. I think that they are really well done, especially the scale of the creatures. I liked the cast. I'm a big fan of Kyle Chandler, Vera Farmiga. Um, I do like Sally Hawkins, Ken Watanabe. I think they had such a great cast. Um, but again, it's unfortunate to say, but that's kind of where the positives end. I have a lot of problems with this movie. Um, I went in with very low expectations because based on the trailer, I knew what I was getting into. I was getting into a uh, monster action porno, essentially, where you're jer you're going to this movie to essentially jerk off to all the monster action. And I get it, and that's completely fine. Um, but I just couldn't shake off the fact that there are so many problems with this movie. For one, if you were going to see a movie for the monster action, why is it that you focus so much on characters and characters that are just so one-dimensional? All of these characters are so cookie cutter. And I grew up watching a lot of Zastro movies, so all these characters were very familiar for me. And you have that dad who just isn't there for his daughter, but must somehow uh, overcome all these obstacles to get to her. You have a daughter that doesn't like her dad and slowly starts to like it. You have a mom that, um, you know, isn't really there as well, but like, you know, has something against the dad. You have these uh, funny scientist guys. It's just, all of these cliches are just seeping through this movie. And it's not like the movie doesn't really focus on them. No, the movie focuses a lot on them. And there are even a lot of moments for these characters that are supposed to be quote unquote emotional. And the thing is, I didn't feel anything. During these moments, I didn't feel anything. Was the music great during the scenes that were supposed to be really emotional and heartbreaking? Yeah, the music was incredible, but I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel anything at all because I just kind of realized that the movie is throwing its hat on these character tropes, not actual arcs, not actually fleshing it out. These characters are just giving exposition. And the exposition isn't really meaningful because it's just giving us as the audience an idea on what's going on with the monsters. But the characters themselves, they're not characters. And that's the biggest problem with the movie. I also think that as the movie goes along, it begins to really, really, really go down in terms of logic. And I'm, again, not expecting a film that makes sense in terms of our world but with the world that Godzilla's built it doesn't even make sense there's a lot of things that characters do that just doesn't add up to what um you know they were talking about with Godzilla and these other creatures before you have characters that disappear off screen uh one of them actually who disappeared completely off screen until the post credit scene I was like yeah um it's good that you brought him back but what is it people didn't stay for the post credit scene um you have a ludicrous ending you have action that's actually kind of dull. I mean, monster action can only go so far before it gets dull, except for the Godzilla fan base, in my opinion, and blockbuster action fans. But I was dull by it because it's also not really well filmed. There are some incredible shots. Like there's one shot where you have, I believe it's Godzilla, and then over top of him, um, several feet back, you see the other creature with the three heads 
just like come out of nowhere and it's just like flying. So you, it's a really good scope of the film. But then there are other shots during the action where it's just shaking and wobbling and you can't tell what's going on. And it goes down to the camera work, it goes to the color palette, and I think also just the directing, unfortunately. Uh, it's a very mixed bag in terms of cinematography because I'd be lying if I said it was totally terrible because again, there were some really, really cool shots in the movie. Um, but overall, again, I feel very mixed about this movie from a character, story, action, um, ending standpoint, I just, I can't recommend it. I, I really can't. Um, it, it, it's a film that, again, if you're going in as a Godzilla fan or a fan of blockbuster action, I think you'll like it. But again, you really do have to check your brain at the door because if you go in expecting any sense of logic, even for this world that they're building, you're going to be really disappointed like I was. And that's why Godzilla, King of the Monsters, for me, I'll be giving it a two out of five star rating. No hot sauce rating because, again, it's under three stars. It's a two out of five star movie. So, but again, that's that's my thought, guys. I am curious to hear yours about this movie um, because, again, I know that it sounds like I'm critiquing character, story. You know, like I said, I wouldn't. But you can't really help but do so when a movie is a monster movie and focuses so much on that. Um, guys, what's your favorite monster movie, though? For me personally, it's King Kong. Perfect balance of actually developing characters and have an incredible action. That's my personal favorite monster movie. Love that movie. But what's your favorite monster movie, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, as well as for this film. And don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll catch you guys later.